Hey guys, I'm still in Chad, but I am not going to be picking a Chinese lock. Instead, this is a really high quality lock. It's a UAP that Wadok 2 sent me from the UK in a care package. Uh, I don't know if you had a chance to pick this, but high quality because, uh, first of all, the brand is a good name. Uh, we have some cutouts that are anti-snap cutouts on both sides, so it doesn't matter. You can put this in the door either way. And on the bottom, of course, six pins, but we also have these carbide inserts that prevents you from drilling out these pins and overwhelming the lock that way. So pretty good, pretty good quality. The other thing that made this lock earn its place in my stress bucket, or my damn near impossible to pick bucket, is the bidding. And Rich, I don't know if you ever picked this, but if you did, you really had quite a challenge ahead of you. This is about my fifth or sixth attempt to make this video. The key obviously works perfectly, but we're not going to be using the key. We're going to be trying to pick our way into this. And so because of this extreme bidding, there's a couple of firsts on this lock. First is I'm going to be using top of the keyway. Normally I get away with bottom, but on this one, because of the extreme bidding, I'm going to be using, I don't know if you can make this out if I can get the camera to focus here, but this is a serrated, come on baby, get the light to hit this just right. There we go. It's a serrated uh, tension wrench, so when I put it in the top of there, it's not going to be slipping out. I'm going to put it all the way in against that first pin and then back it off just a bit because I don't want it rubbing against that first pin. The other thing, again, a first, I'm going to be using this pick. It's, it's a 15,000th. This one happens to be by Peterson, but these are usually used to pick Medicos. And that's, in fact, why I bother to carry it in my kit. So this is the first time I've used it on one of these uh, Yale type keyways. Again, it's because uh, of the extreme bidding on this key. Okay, so we'll get started with this pick and we're going to have to switch over here in a minute. So if I can get the light to cooperate. Alright, a little bit of tension and let's see if I can get lucky and pick this on camera this time. This is one of those locks that is very camera shy. Okay, it was, I have pin 4 and pin 3. I got some slight kick, clicks and you could see the core turn ever so slightly and now, again this happened very quickly, we have a very extreme uh, fault set. So my tension wrench is taking a little turn there for the worst. I'm going to move him over. There we go. Give us a little bit better access. And now because this pick is so thin, I don't know if you can see, but I bent it earlier, a matter of fact, a couple of times. It just doesn't have the strength to overcome a security pin. So I'm going to have to toss this one aside and move to a standard hook. It's uh, Again, it's a 15 thousandths, but it's just a standard hook so I can get the leverage. So let's see if we can find the binding pin and get some feedback. And because I know I've already got uh, pin 3 through 6, he's got to be pin 2 or pin 1 and it changes depending on which end of the lock you're picking so I'm not sure which end this is if I can get on him I believe this is pin 1 let me see if I can get on him and get this dude picked on camera for once okay, I'm getting really good feedback it's pushing my finger around my tension wrench oops slipped off let's try that again Flipped off again. Come on, baby. And there we go. Thank God we finally got it. So there you go, Rich. Your challenge lock. We got her open. It is a UAP six pin. It's a really, really good lock. And I will put this in one of the care packages I send out. And if you if you think this is an easy lock, you're going to have a chance at it yourself. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Everybody stay safe. And from Enjamina Chad, stay legal.